out of Davis. A third stabbing victim was found overnight. This happening at 2nd and L Streets. That person was taken to the hospital and she remains in critical condition this morning. This now marking the third stabbing in Davis in less than a week. Now. And we do have team coverage. Mike DeSalle is live on the UC Davis campus where security has been increased because of the two previous stabbing incidents. Yeah, but we start with Leticia Ordaz. She joins us live at the scene of that overnight stabbing, joining us with the very latest in that investigation. Good morning, Mike and Brandy. We can tell you that shelter in place has been lifted this morning. Police have been searching for the suspect for seven hours now in the downtown Davis area. They still have not been able to locate him. Take a look at the scene here. This is where the woman was stabbed here just before midnight last night. Police say a 64 year old woman was about to go to sleep in her tent here when that suspect attacked her from the outside, poking his knife through the tent and causing several stab wounds. She was rushed to the hospital and is currently listed in critical condition. This happening here on 2nd and L Streets. Her friends tell us she was talking when the ambulance took her away, so they are just hoping and praying that she will survive this morning. The latest stabbing happened just before midnight near some apartment complexes as well as a PG&E plant uh, for college students here. And police say it is possible this incident is connected to the other two stabbings that happened earlier in the week. Witnesses say they saw a person lurking around their homeless encampment before that stabbing occurred. They describe him as the same man police have been looking for in those two deadly stabbings that happened at Parks in Davis. So I was sitting in front of the tent and I said, babe, this ain't feeling right. And I see the dude run across the way and started skip like running, but he would stop along every tree to blend in with the tree because it's dark. And I noticed that because I was like, that's something that you would do if you're scoping something out. You know what I mean? So I was like, babe, he's really watching this. He's scoping us out right now. I said, hey, bruh, he starts walking normal. And then I said, you look like a dude that they've been describing. I've been stabbing people. And he takes off. I started to take off after him. And my wife's like, don't leave me here. At this point, friends say they are just hoping and praying that this won't turn into a third deadly stabbing case. That woman again fighting for her life. At the UC Davis Medical Center, we know that a number of law enforcement agencies are in town right now helping Davis police track this suspect down. If you have any information, you're urged to contact the Davis Police Department. And if you see this person, they encourage you not to approach him. Call 911 immediately. He is considered armed and dangerous. Reporting live in Davis, Leticia Ordaz, KCRA 3 News. Leticia, thanks so much for that live report. And as we mentioned, this is the third stabbing in less than a week in the city of Davis. This is a map showing all of the locations. They all happen within three miles of each other. Yeah, the first happening on Thursday, David Bro's body was found in Central Park. Detectives are not sure when he was killed and there were no witnesses. Then Saturday night, 20 year old UC Davis student Kareem Abu Najm was found dead at Sycamore Park. Police say there was a witness that was able to give a vague description of the suspect. Now our team coverage continues right now to the UC Davis campus. KCR 3's Mike Tassell is live there. So Mike, what are you seeing there on the campus now that there has been a third reported stabbing near the campus? Yeah, and so let me set the scene because we are live right outside the ARC here on campus, the Activities and Recreation Center, and this is a spot uh, typically can be busy in the morning and judging by the scene right now, you can see many are going about their daily routine as normal at this hour. But to your point, we came here this morning to try and get a sense and a feeling of, uh, you know, on campus of the reaction to this latest news and the reaction very similar to the first two stabbings. This is a situation that is unexpected, not only for this campus, but in this community. It's scary for everybody right now. It's just uncertain and I feel like um, just driving around. It seems a little bit. I don't know. Everybody's just a little bit more on edge for sure. And if you're just waking up, one of the reasons people feeling on edge is that uh, early, early this morning around 1 a.m. This campus was uh, given a shelter in place advisory that came through a warn me message, which is a system they use here on campus to notify students. And so for several hours, the campus was told to shelter in place. Now that advisory that uh, was lifted in the five o'clock hour, so about two hours ago, but again, a feeling of unease, but as far as a visual, things looking 
like a normal Tuesday outside the activity center as there continue to be students coming and going. But at the same time, when we stop and talk to them, all expressing concern about what is going on in this community with these stabbings. Live on the campus of UC Davis, Mike Desell, KCRA 3 News. And understandably so. Mike, thanks so much for that live report.